Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these two semicircles. The yellow semicircle with the radius lowercase r and the green semicircle with the radius uppercase r put together as you can see in this given diagram such that the sum of their diameters, this diameter plus this diameter is 36 units and moreover sum of their areas in other words, uh, the yellow semicircle area plus the green semicircle area is equal to 85 pi square units. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, radius uh, lowercase r. And likewise, we are going to calculate uh, the value of this uh, radius uh, uppercase r as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle is lowercase r. So therefore, uh, the radius uh, of this semicircle is going to be lowercase r and likewise uh, lowercase r as well. And likewise, uh, the radius of this uh, green semicircle is uppercase r. So therefore, uh, this radius is going to be uppercase r and likewise, this radius is going to be uppercase r as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, length uh, is going to be r plus r plus uppercase r plus uppercase r. That is going to give us uh, 2 times lowercase r plus 2 times uh, uppercase r. And we know that this whole uh, length uh, is uh, 36. So therefore, we can write down uh, 2 times uh, uppercase r uh, plus uh, 2 times uh, lowercase r is equal to 36. And now I can see that all these terms are divisible by 2. So therefore, I'm going to divide each and every term by 2 across the board. So therefore, we got uh, uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r value equals to 18 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number one and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, semicircle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is always equal to pi times r square where uppercase r is the radius so therefore our this uh, green semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 for the semicircle times uh, our uppercase uh, r whole square and now we are going to calculate uh, the yellow semicircle area as well and now let's recall the area of the circle formula once again area of a circle is equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle so therefore uh, this uh, yellow semicircle uh, area is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, lowercase r whole square and now let's recall this equation once again the yellow semicircle area plus the green semicircle area is equal to 85 times pi and we know our uh, yellow semicircle area is uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, lowercase r square and likewise the green semicircle area is pi divided by 2 times uppercase r whole square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank so I can write down pi divided by 2 times uh, lowercase r square plus uh, pi divided by 2 times uppercase r square equals to 85 times uh, pi. And here we can see this pi. Pi and pi cancels out. And at the very same time, I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 across uh, the board. And here we can see 2 and 2 cancels each other out. This 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, we are ended up with uh, lowercase uh, r square plus uh, uppercase r square equals to 85 times 2 is going to give us uh, 170. And here I have put these uh, uppercase r square and lowercase r square the other way around. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number two. 
and now we are ended up with the system of uh, two equations equation one and equation two and we are going to solve them for uh, lowercase r value and likewise uppercase r value as well and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus two times uh, a b if I label this lowercase a as our uppercase r and this lowercase b as our lowercase uh, r then we can write this uh, identity as uh, uppercase r plus uh, lowercase r whole square could be written as uppercase r square plus uh, lowercase r square plus uh, 2 times uppercase r times lowercase r and now let's make an observation let's focus on equation 1 we know uppercase r plus lowercase r value is uh, 18 so therefore I'm going to substitute that value 18 over here likewise let's focus on equation 2 we know uppercase r square plus lowercase r square equals to 170 so therefore I'm going to substitute for this part 170 over here so therefore we can write this one as 18 square equal to 170 plus 2 times uppercase r times lowercase r and now we are going to subtract 170 from both sides this is gone so therefore 2 times uppercase r times lowercase r value is going to be 154 let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, uppercase r times lowercase r this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore uh, uppercase r times lowercase r value turns out to be 77 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number 3 and now let's recall another identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2 times ab and once again i'm going to label lowercase a as uh, uppercase r and lowercase b as uh, lowercase r so therefore we can write uh, uppercase r minus uh, lowercase r whole square equals to uppercase uh, r square plus uh, lowercase uh, r square uh, minus uh, 2 times uh, uppercase r times uh, lowercase r and now let's focus on this uh, equation to uppercase r square plus lowercase r square equals to 170 so therefore i'm going to substitute that value 170 over here and likewise let's focus on this equation 3 uppercase r times lowercase r value is 77 so therefore i'm going to substitute that value 77 over here and in this uh, next step 2 times 77 is going to give us uh, 154 so therefore our uppercase r minus lowercase r square value turns out to be 16 and now i'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our uppercase r minus uh, lowercase r value turns out to be positive 4 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number uh, 4 and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two equations equation one and equation four and now we are going to add these uh, two equations if we add uh, this positive r and negative r they cancel each other out so therefore on the left hand side we got two times uh, uppercase r equals to 22 let's divide both sides by two to isolate uppercase r this two and two is gone so therefore uh, our uppercase r radius value turns out to be 11 uh, units and now let's focus once again on this equation one uppercase r plus lowercase r equals to 18 and uppercase r value is 11 we are going to substitute that uh, uppercase r value 11 over here let's subtract 11 from both sides they are gone so therefore our lowercase uh, r radius turns out to be seven uh, units so thus our uppercase r radius turns out to be 11 units and the lowercase uh, r uh, radius value seven units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye